is a weekly vlog so i'm going to take you through my week take you along for it see what we get up to and i'll show you what i eat along the way and i'm of course going to show you my outfits every day again so this week i've decided i am not going to sit in leggings and a jumper all week again i'm going to dress properly and feel better in myself i don't want to keep living in leggings and a jumper every day especially since the weather is getting like a little bit nicer so i'm going to show you my outfit for today show you what i have breakfast and take you along for the ride for the week so i hope you enjoy it if you do please do let me know by giving it a big thumbs up it lets me know if you enjoy this video and you want to see more of this content and without further ado let me show you my outfit i feel like i need a better place to show you my outfit but the dressing room is where we we are at the moment so today's outfit i'm going very like smart casual for a change so i'm actually wearing love all leggings is it no it's not love all like it's love all um t-shirt and jeans these are mom jeans now i don't normally wear mom jeans but these are actually a really nice fit they're really comfortable i am a little bit bloated today because i'm at that like ovulation stage of my cycle maybe tmi for some people but i'm just letting you know where we're at so i'm like a little bit bloated at the moment but the cardigan i've got on is from joe browns with this lovely little button detail here this is lovely i definitely need to wear this more often as well as my other cardigans and things but shoes wise i'll put them downstairs but i'm wearing my white version of these um that you guys definitely see a lot of so i'm wearing my white ballet flats basically and because my hair needs a wash i've literally just slicked it back in a pony with some little curls that i already had from the weekend um and i put some little earrings in i just thought i haven't got a ring on today so let's put a ring on put a ring on it <laughs> let's put on this little heart one i haven't worn this in literally years which finger does it fit on oh it's got one of them what are they called squishy bits the adjustable uh, uh, you know what i mean <laughs> i'm getting really bad brain fog at this time um but yeah i'll put that on yeah that is today's outfit i don't know what we're gonna do this week but i'm going to work soon so oh my god stop yawning oh my gosh i'll show you what i had for breakfast i say i had for breakfast i'm currently still eating it but i've literally got a granola bowl with some strawberries and some seeds on top of some soy yogurt of course excuse this usual mess in the background this is all the stuff i've vented and my filming equipment just thought i'd show you what i'm having for food at work today i've got a couple of these no pork sausage rolls left i've got minestrone soup with a couple of slices of bread for lunch and then i've also got leftover bakes from the weekend i had these sunshine bars and i also made some blueberry muffins last night so i've got some of them to take with me and i also got a little trail mix with a little bit of aero in there so there's almonds sultanas cranberries and uh minty aero in there so i'll have it with a little bit of chocolate got a banana some knickknacks vegan kit kat some chocolate orange deliciously ella dipped almonds and then in here it's literally another <laughs> left over a bit of them sunshine bars and then i've got some squash in here and i thought i'd actually show you a little update on the microgreens that i planted a couple of weeks ago they've grown so quickly so these have done the best the rocket i think i think it's gonna spray that that's kind of like fell over a bit but everything's growing really well especially in here they've shot up massively i need to actually train them to go through that hole actually so i'm gonna have to do that oh i don't want to bend it and then down here we have more growth on the the cucumbers are finally waking up very slightly the lettuce is opening up we've got the curly kale coming out as well they're, they're getting a bit leggy though because they're trying to reach for the light um and then i've got some microgreens and what are they i think they're more microgreens i can't remember but yeah they're doing okay i need to water them all actually i've literally been doing this every day just a little bit of a spray once in the morning and once at night morning everyone it is now tuesday i didn't vlog last night um because we we're out with family um at the hospital i'm not going to say too much because um i just want to keep it private um but yeah i won't be vlogging as much this week but i'll vlog what i can but today's outfit i'm just going to quickly show you i'll put my hair up again because i need to wash it which i'm going to do tonight put some little earrings in the um what are they called van cleef dupes and i'll show you my outfit so outfit for today i've gone with a very beige look i'm wearing some river island trousers wide leg trousers i love these because they're so comfortable i'm wearing a celine duke belt a cardigan that's from everything five pounds i'm not sure if it goes or not but i'm gonna wear my manolo blanic dupes as well today again 
seem to really like wearing them at the moment. I would love to get another pair in black, but I have to shop around for them. But with these wide leg trousers, I really want to get a pair in white and black, which I shared on my weekly wish list on my Instagram that I do every Friday. Um, now it's a new thing. And I really want to get some, but I was going to get some off New Look, but they were £32.99, which I know isn't like overly expensive, but when you've got vinted, I think I'm going to find someone vinted instead. And it's just better for the environment when you get things secondhand. So I'd rather do that um, than get them new. Same with, I really want a Ralph Lauren striped shirt, which I want to get off vinted. So I feel like that would tie in very nicely with my wardrobe, especially like capsule dressing, which I want to do more of. Seeing as I've like condensed down my wardrobe a hell of a lot more in my spring wardrobe declutter with me video. I feel like I need to do it even further, but hmm. We shall see. But yeah, that is today's outfit. I'll show you what I'm having for lunch. I think it's pretty much the same as yesterday. So I might not even show you, to be fair, because it's going to be the exact same. But yeah, that is today's outfit. Very um, classy. Really like it. But yeah, I'm going to have a shower when I get home from work and wash my hair because I've hair sprayed it back again. Just to keep it out of the way. I feel like I look like an egg when my hair is like this, though. <laughs> but yeah, that is the outfit of the day. This morning's breakfast. I've got avocado on bagels with beans with lots of seasoning. And I've also got my microgreens on there. I'm really loving doing this at the moment, just chopping them up and uh, popping them on my bagels. It smells nice, it smells so good. I'm so hungry. Okay, so I've had some parcels arrive, which I thought I'd just open them with you. So firstly, one of my favourite bag brands, Osprey London, have kindly sent out a lovely parcel of a gorgeous bag. I'm going to leave this link down below for you because my country girls, or even like the corporate girls that watch my videos, or even in general, if you like this bag, you are going to love what they do. They do genuine leather pieces, not for the people that like to have vegan leather. I have asked them before when they're gonna bring in some vegan leather pieces, so I hope that they're gonna do that soon. But let's unbox this bag. I always love how they package things so beautifully, and I always reuse ribbons off parcels pr parcels anyone with loads of ribbons <laughs> can anyone relate with keeping ribbons and just like having a stash of them never know when you're going to use them but they'll come up in some stage where you're going to use them like put them in your hair or use them to tie plants up like i do <laughs> it comes in a duster bag oh this is a fancy duster bag look at that for shopping you know what i always love about um when brands so kindly send me parcels they always put like a little note in there i love these little notes they're so cute i really appreciate when brands add that little extra touch it's really nice so let it let let us <laughs> let us unbox or unbag this bag <sighs> this goes with my outfit today this bag is bigger than i thought Wow, this is like the perfect work bag. There's a nice compartment here. I put your phone in there actually because it's like next to you. So let's take out the packaging. So we've got a little, uh, oh, we even have a shoulder strap. Yeah, this is definitely like the perfect work bag. Um, I actually have their backpack as my work bag, which is a similar shade to this leather. If you'd have watched my bag collection at video recently, you would have seen um, the Osprey London bags that I already have. I have two of them and they're honestly my most worn bags. Especially the little white one, it's just so easy to chuck everything in and go, basically. It's like a little TARDIS bag, it's great. But if you're after like a high-end bag that you want to have a bag, like a nice... You want to have a bag, you want to have a work. Um, you want like a nice high-end bag, but you don't want to break the bank. Osprey London are really good for that. I need to cut these off with scissors, but you get the gist. So this is the Adeline at Work Rainy Hide bag in the shade Dove. Now here's a little close-up of it, you can see the grain there. And the inside looks like this. So imagine if you've got like your MacBook that you need to take to work or your iPad. That will easily slot in there alongside all your other bits and pieces. I also love their little crest that they have. They have that on all their bags. I love their lining. See Osprey Linden all in the lining. Got a middle pouch there. We've got a pocket and then some little compartments here to put your phone and things in. And also this extra compartment here that you can just slip in wherever you need. But yeah, this is a gorgeous size bag. And how perfect for work. Very nice. Thank you so much, Osprey London. Girlies, I'm going to leave this link down below as well as Osprey London's website so you can go and have a look at what they do. But I absolutely love their bags. They're genuinely such good quality. And I've had, I think the ones that I've had before, I must have had them. It's got to be coming up to two years now, maybe. I'm pretty sure it was. So it was like, maybe it's 2021. Well, I've had it three years, but they they last such a such a long time, so I cannot recommend this brand enough for your bags. Okay, this next parcel, I cannot believe that I'm working with this brand. 
speechless. I'm about to show you some gorgeous pieces that they very kindly sent me and for those that love to go to like the races or Cheltenham or Royal Ascot or anything like that because I know that Royal Ascot is coming up in June so this is the perfect time to show you this but I'm working with LK Bennett internally screaming but they have kindly sent out two gorgeous fascinators which are from the Royal Ascot collection at LK Bennett and I cannot wait to start the look for you on Instagram and on shorts. So they sent me not one, but two beautiful fascinators. Funnily enough, I've never worn a fascinator in my life because I'll be honest, I've never been to the races. Tell a lie, I went to one race course in Wolverhampton, but I didn't have a good experience there. Unfortunately, I just wasn't for me I've seen something I never wanted to see um but yeah anyway I would love to go to Royal Ascot or the Cheltenham Festival just to experience the whole like atmosphere and how it is there I'd love to do that I'd love to go to her Cheltenham Festival of Holly Cooper that is an absolute dream putting it out there now to the universe hope that will happen <laughs> I'd love to work with Holly Cooper but LK Bennett I'm gonna pop this on they even come with the little duster bags how cute for storage but I'm gonna quickly pop these on so you can see what they look like what way does it go around? That's what I always get confused about. I'm going to go with this way. Now, obviously, my hair is up, so I'm not sure if it's going to look so good, but obviously, it does not go with the outfit. But look at that. Absolutely divine. Stunning. I'm going to leave these linked down below for you, especially for those of you that watch and you attend the races or you're looking to attend the races and you're looking for a fascinator. RK Bennett, this was actually on sale to be fair in the sale section because they had a sale when I was shopping on there but their Royal Ascot collection is beautiful alongside the dresses, I put it on my weekly wish list they've got a new petite range as well, they've got some beautiful dresses on RK Bennett they're so divine, classy, elegant and I absolutely love that down to a tea so RK Bennett are such a beautiful brand, look at the detail of that absolutely beautiful with the pearl details, the lovely like rose into a bow the quality, stunning, and I love how the headband is all satin, so it won't irritate you. It's, I absolutely love satin and silk materials, it's like one of my favourites. Whereas the other one, it's more like a hat. This one, this one is more, so I'd say it's, it's kind of like a hat but a fascinator, but this one's definitely more a hat. So just think, say if it's sunny at Royal Ascot and you want to keep your face out of the sun, this would be a lovely contender. So let's try it on. Again, I don't know if I'm wearing this the right way around. I feel like I'm not because it's not going on my head right now. Let's try it the other way. It can't, mm, does it work better that way? I'm not sure. It's not sitting on my head correctly. I definitely think it's either way around. But you kind of get the gist of it. With this gorgeous netting. It has these little jewels at the front here. I'm going to take it off because I'm not doing it justice. It has this lovely netting. This gorgeous material that's very structured some little jewels all over it it's i feel like this would be good i know it's not the right color for a wedding but i feel like this would be very good for like that kind of season maybe if it's a different color so i know that they have this one in a beautiful blush pink color and i'm pretty sure they did this in a different color i'll leave the link down below if you're looking for a fascinator or like a beautiful hat for a special occasion maybe the races maybe a garden party or a christening i know it's coming up to that kind of season of occasion wearing things so how beautiful would that be as an addition to your gorgeous dress or suit or anything you're looking to to go with yes thank you so much to rk bennett for sending these out i cannot wait to style these up on my instagram with some beautiful dresses but i think my favorite has to be this i feel like this is this is the one for me that one's beautiful but i feel like this is more it's giving more ascot I love <laughs> repping the tag <laughs> but how gorgeous as I said, I'll leave them linked down below. I've just pulled my hair out and I'll be styling all of the pieces that I've just showed you up on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me over on there. I'll leave it here for you. And yes, that is my little PR unboxing for you. I'll let you know if anything else comes this week, of course, as well. I've had a shower, I've washed my hair and I've got myself a leftover curry from the weekend. And I've got the crown on the telly. And then I'm probably going to just chill in with a book for a bit this evening. So I've just had a little bit of aero and now I'm eating a vegan ice chalk stick thing that I got from Asda that I my vegan ones that are new so it's a bit like a vegan magnum to be fair
morning everyone there's me completely forgetting that i was vlogging it this week sorry if i'm not the best this week you know just a weird week but i've curled my hair and instead of putting hairspray in i've put oilicious tame and shine styling oil and i didn't realize it actually holds my curls way better than the hairspray and like even if i run my fingers through here they'll just bounce back love it i even put like a very tiny bit through my fringe as well which i normally put a roller in just to keep it off for a bit and um yeah i've got no hairspray in today so let's see how long this lasts if it works better this way then i'll do it more often but i think i need to stop using heat so much on my hair and i'm actually even contemplating maybe going a different hair color <laughs> i don't know what i'm thinking is I am to i'm gonna talk to my hairdresser about it i don't know whether i'm gonna do it yet because the reason why I'm thinking about it is I know I want to go my natural colour, but not yet. My natural colour is like a dark blonde, or even maybe even a light brown. Um, I've definitely got my um, dad's natural colour, so does my sister. But what I'm thinking is, maybe if I do like a, oh, what is it called? It's like a root growth or something. A bit like a balayage. So what I'm thinking is, what I'm after is maybe like a bit of face, is it face framing with a bit of colour here? My roots like going out, but like a natural um a bit like a balayage but not a balayage um, and i have highlights going through it so i think i may eventually do that because my hair health i don't want it to go downhill with the amount of bleach that we use on my hair and i've had this color for maybe five years so maybe it's time for a refresh i don't know but that is the idea so mm, i don't know but i've had this color for a long time but i can't always keep doing it because it's just gonna make my hair just um continue to break and i've noticed it's breaking it so much so i think i need to well i definitely need to do more hair care like i need to get a really decent hair mask so any girlies that are, wa are watching and can recommend me a decent hair mask for my hair my hair is quite thick um and anything that's good for like hair breakage please let me know in the comments down below because i need all the advice i can get for hair um and i'm also tempted to get the color wow dream coat i used to absolutely love that the shine it gave me was amazing and um, so i might get that and start going on that again but any hair advice please let me know in the comments down below because i would love to hear from you what advice you have for hair and i wouldn't say well it grows quite well but i don't think it grows as quickly as it did but obviously you know you get older and things slow down i say that i'm literally only 26 <laughs> but you know what i'm saying yeah i'm gonna show you my outfit for today and then we're gonna go make some breakfast i've also been in the gym this morning i felt so weak at the gym this morning because i was off the gym for like five days because i had a awful ache in my neck because i tend to get a lot of tension in my neck so that i've had like i get really bad clusters in my neck basically so um and then literally in the middle of the night on i think it was thursday night last week it's still there now to be fair and i'm like wiggling my neck about um but yeah i have tension clusters in my neck and i definitely need to have a massage or maybe go back to having a chiropractor and acupuncture because that really used to help because i hold so much tension in my upper part of my body and it always sits in my neck a lot of the time so i need someone to like massage my neck like this um to get the clusters out so sorry if i keep doing this in the vlog but i'm trying to like massage it out so yeah, I think I need to go back to having um, either a massage or acupuncture or something like that. So anyway, I'll show you my outfit. I love how I'm actually wearing clothes this week rather than leggings and a jumper. It's amazing what happens when I do a wardrobe clear out and I realise I've got so many clothes I'm not wearing that I want to wear. So I'm wearing my favourite H&M blazer that I've had for ages. A Love All t-shirt, Love All jeans. These are my favourite jeans ever. They are so comfortable. Like, look at the stretch on this especially like right now i'm ovulating and i get really bloated girlies you'll feel me with like you get the pouch going on and you just blow it and yeah you know how it feels um and then if shoes for today i'm actually gonna bring out my chloe boots because i was thinking yesterday i was looking at i was like oh i haven't worn them in ages and i was <laughs> i kid you not i bought these at bista village and the only places they've been to is bista village I've probably worn these about three times so i need to get my wear out of them because cost per wear is not paying off but to be fair, I'm not that mad because these were literally like, I think I paid £148 for these when they're normally £400. So yeah, I definitely need to get more wear out of these, but they're literally still brand new. It looks like I've not even worn them. So I need to get my wear out of them. So that is the plant. They're really dusty. They've been sat there for so long. So yeah, I need to wear them. And then maybe a coat. I don't know because it was a little bit chilly when we went to the gym this morning. So yeah, let's go make some breakfast. Full stop. I believe I live in your thoughts I think about 
about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found It is now Thursday. I don't think I vlogged at all last night. We ended up watching, I watched a bit, a bit of The Crown. I had a vegan steak slice, homemade chips in the oven with some peas for dinner last night. I don't think I vlogged it, so sorry about that. I've just not really been on the vlogging game this week, so I apologise, but we watched, we started to watch the series One Day, which we're kind of getting into. It's very slow, but I'm intrigued as to where it's going. I thought I'd show you today's outfit. I keep getting such an itchy nose. <laughs> what is that cat doing? Well, the neighbour's cat is so strange. The way they walk on the fence, they're like this. <laughs> but anyway, today's outfit I'm going to show you. Shoes for today, I'm going to wear my Carvella trainers that Adam got me for Christmas or my birthday. One of them. And outfit, I'm actually wearing a jacket today. I'm a bit more comfortable today, but I still feel put together. So this is a jacket from Primark like a few years ago. Love the colours on it. Very uh, spring-like. And I've got a Primark jumper on, a Zara tank top underneath and then literally wearing some i think these are h&m flares like elasticated sort of trousers and that is my outfit for today a bit more comfortable than the rest of the week but i'm liking actually wearing my clothes <laughs> i think my favorite outfit was probably yesterday with my chloe boots but yeah so i'm gonna go make some breakfast i'm gonna have protein pancakes my favorite protein wild pancakes so i'm gonna go make them with you breakfast with some strawberries and some syrup or some biscoff spread i might have biscoff spread for jane actually and that will be breakfast and then i'll show you what i've got for lunch as well quick update on the market greens i think they're dying off <laughs> so we're not doing so good i don't really know what's going on they're like drying up even though i've been watering them twice a day but i think they've also got like extra leggy because they're reaching for the like to where they are and even in here they seem to be doing the same thing any advice on uh, making less leggy plants would be much appreciated in the comments. But also down here, they're not too bad. These are the microgreens. Cucumber. We have a sprout. It's doing good. It's the only one that's doing good. I think these ones aren't doing so well because they're obviously exposed a little bit, but need a little bit of soil on top. But the lettuce and curly kale seem to be getting a bit leggy as well. So things don't seem to be doing so well inside the house unless they're microgreens. Hmm. Might need to start planting them outside in their own pots. Also, I forgot to show you this magnet that we brought back from Rome. How cool is that? Love it. Added to our lovely collection of magnets. Love it. <laughs> okay, I've got everything out for breakfast, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you what I've got for lunch today. I know, doing it a little bit backwards. I've got some a serene bar that is actually out of date. I bought it like that, not even realising in Asda, but it tastes fine. It's all right. <laughs> got some knickknacks, my faves. I still got a leftover flapjack, which I don't even know if it's still going to be right. It smells okay, but I think I might bin it in there for a few days. So I think that meat needs to get in the bin. And um, we've got a little bit of a trail mix. So I've got like almonds, raisins, cranberries in there. I like to have it with a bit of chocolate though, and I need to get some chocolate in there. That's the only snacks that I've got in there. So I need to add something else. But what is the question? I have some mini cheddar. I don't have much fruit for this. I've got even have fruit in there. What have we got in the fridge? Oh yeah, I've got my little dinky rolls, which I'm going to take. I put these in the freezer from last week's food shop. Um, so I've got them out. So I'll have them. And then also this is lunch. Vegan meatballs for roundy and spaghetti and pasta sauce. And I don't know what else to take. So I need to, I need to make some snacks, really. I could take crackers, but it's just like being bothered to put butter on them. <laughs> Can't be bothered. Um, so I'm going to make breakfast. I also need to pack up the last two muffins that I made. So I make snacks for the week and then they end up not even getting eaten. Wow. You know, I like to have a variety of snacks. So I don't feel like there's enough snacks to choose from. So I might find some more. So I'm going to take a caramel Yubi bar. I realise I haven't had them in ages. But I do feel like there needs to be some kind of health in there. Like there's no fruit. I have the banana. It's the last one. That's why I was like trying not to take it. So we don't go food shopping till tomorrow night. So, right. Okay. Breakfast. I'm going to make the favourite protein wild pancakes with some strawberries and my vegan syrup rather than the agar syrup because the agar syrup was upside down in the cupboard and I had to bin it because it went everywhere the other day. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna make this. Oh, I need some oat milk. Yeah, make this, but um, with Protein World, I do have a discount code. If anyone wants any goodies off there, I'll leave a link down below and also a code on screen now. It's PW Isabel for 40% off. Protein World, they do lots of different things like porridge. This is what Adam has at the moment, the protein porridge, which is white chocolate, but he much prefers the jammy swell one. And they do um, different things on there. They also do really nice protein bars, which I haven't had in ages. They're so nice. Right, let's put it in time lapse and let's make some breakfast. And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say welly walk in the woods so i'm gonna take you along with but i'm gonna take you on my phone so we're just on our walk and uh there's wild garlic here i learned that from uh watching someone's vlog you can actually eat this stuff if you take it home but i think it's coming to the end of its season because when it starts flowering it's not as good apparently but it's all wild garlic
session, I did a chest and tricep session, I did a load of washing, stripped down the bed as you would have seen, reloaded the washing machine for the next load which we'll probably do tomorrow, did my socials upload, I was tied up a bit basically, I had breakfast as you would have seen as well. But today's outfit is my Holland Cooper gilet, absolutely love the detail on, the, on this and then the and then my jumper is from Holland Cooper as well, this is what I got off Vinted a while ago and then I've got some little leggings on as well um, and then I'm going to be wearing my black boots that I love that I got from the charity shop, love these and that's today's outfit, it's quite spring like today I'm so glad it's Friday though, I feel like this week has like been so long but I hope you've enjoyed it, as random as it's been and I've not like, I've not vlogged how I normally vlog so it's been a bit of a weird week but I hope you've enjoyed it either way so today's lunch, let me rewind to last night's dinner that pizza did not go to plan <laughs> i put far too much smart puree on it so it looked just awful i ate about half of it and i had to make the other half so i wasn't keen on it but lunch today is a vegan chili con carne and rice and then the usual snacks that i've been having throughout the week anyway that i showed you at the beginning of the week i'm pretty sure nothing's changed it is the food shop tonight so i will potentially take you along for that yeah i hope you enjoyed the vlog so far if you have please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and no doubt i'll see you when we go shopping i just got home i just wanted to show you the garden <laughs> i don't know what's going on with these bulbs at the bottom they're just not stable but um i just wanted to show you these gorgeous tulips how beautiful they are before they all die off but how cute and also my sweet peas that i planted actually got blown away in the wind so all of this got ruined and only like one or two has survived oh actually no there's some more coming out at the back there but i'm not sure anything's coming out of these little ones but there's like one seedling oh actually is that oh we've got a bit of growth in there and there it's looking promising also the carrots look like they're being eaten <sighs> look at it gutted and i've had the cover on them but i'm just going to water everything because it's not raining today Give a drink. Okay, excuse the hair, but I've come home to a few parcels and I thought I'd show you what arrived today. So the lovely brand called Isabel at London kindly sent me these gorgeous spring dresses. I'm loving so many of their dresses right now. I've worked with them before. They have a beautiful navy floral dress that I styled with my Instagram. I'll put a picture on here. But I'm actually running a giveaway with them on my Instagram, which will be live by the time this video is live and it will still be going when this is going, when this is going up. But look at this beautiful pink dress. It's kind of like roses in a way. It's got a beautiful little hem here. I feel like this is going to look very lovely with some sandals. Love the smock detail here. This looks beautiful i love the quality as well the quality is really lovely but they not only sent me one they sent me two of i think it's the same sort of no this is a different style but it's still got a smock bodice so it's this beautiful blue and purple print floral dress with gorgeous like sheer sleeves with the cuff detail here that's elasticated this is elasticated too these are my favorite type of dresses to wear in spring summer especially when i get those bloated days or i'm on like my ovulation stage in my cycle when i'm so bloated um these are my go-to dresses in at that time of spring they are so comfortable and you look so effortlessly elegant and chic and i love them so this style of dress is my go-to and um, but i'm going to be styling these up on my instagram but look at the skirt as well isn't it beautiful love how vibrant these are as well so ladylike love it 
So yes, if you want to win yourself a dress from Isabel London, they have some beautiful things. I'll leave these linked down below either way. But I'm running a giveaway with them over on my Instagram. So go and check it out. I'll leave that link down below too. But my Instagram is on screen now for you if you want to go follow me over on there and enter the giveaway. If you guys also follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I have been posting a weekly wish list every Friday. And I posted last week a pair of shoes, which was the first thing I shared, which I actually went and bought which are these gorgeous shoes, very classy shoes from New Look, which are 29 99 I'm going to leave this link down below because I'm sure there's a lot of girlies out there that are going to be into these kind of shoes. But they're like a gorgeous, not even too high, block heel. And I've seen these literally everywhere. And I feel like, I'm, well, I'm hoping I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these. They're going to go with quite a lot of things. If I put them next to my wardrobe, I feel like they might look quite cute with that. Or maybe some blazers. I just, I feel like they were they were missing in my wardrobe, this type of shoe. But in a way, I think I suit more of a pointed toe. So I think, I think I'd be more inclined to wear these more if I had a pointed toe. So I'm going to style them up, um, no doubt on Instagram, to see how many ways that I can wear this. And if I can't find enough ways, then I'll send them back. But we shall see, see if I like them. But yeah, I wanted to give them a go. But I've just been, oh no, I just showed you, I was just in the garden. So I've just been out in the garden. Um, and my tulip bulbs are just like loose, a bit weird. Um, but what I think I might do once the, actually no, they're, they're not going to go off for a while, but I've got some hyacinths, hy hyacinth, some mascari and daffodil bulbs that I need to replant for next year. So I think I'll do that over the weekend. So I'm going to do that in a separate vlog. So I'm going to film on Sunday. I'm not going to film the whole weekend. I'm just going to film on Sunday and do a white unit. What I eat in a day, spend the day with me sort of vlog. And we'll do a bit of gardening because it's supposed to be nice weather this weekend. So I'm really hoping that we can get on the garden. But tonight I'm going to do a food shop. Adam's currently getting his haircut at the barber. So I've got the house to myself again. I love having the house to myself because I rarely get it to myself. <laughs> so I'm going to tidy this mess away. I've got vintage parcels to send. We've got a food shop to do. I need to make dinner. But I'm going to end this video here. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do give it a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye! I wanna be the life